Hello, I'm Darren, I'm from Movie Reviews 101 and today we're going to talk about Sabrina, the Indonesian horror movie that is part of the universe of the doll movies. This movie stars Luna Maya, Christian Sugino and Sarah Wishunato. I, I apologise for any names that have been butchered there. I can't do names, it's simple as that. And this movie here follows Myra and Aiden, who are a married couple who have adopted their niece who has lost her mother. And they've created and given her this brand new doll called Sabrina, which is this creepy ass doll with the biggest eyes you've ever seen. And when their niece decides to play Charlie Charlie, which is the latest internet craze of the Ouija board, she ends up bringing back a spirit who pretends to be her mother before revealing itself to want to kill everybody. Which brings back Larissa who has been in the other doll movies as some form of psychic that can vanquish evil spirits. So what we're looking at here is kind of a mix of Incendius Conjuring and Annabelle. Just Indonesian style. Well, that's the best way of putting it. So we're going to go to the free ups Number one is there is a really clever scene for what I like to say clever anyway because you know I'm not the best expert at this type of thing and that is when the niece is playing the Charlie Charlie she is given an app called Entity Hunter so she just walks around with her iPad like this looking for entities in the house and it picks up entities and it it is very very weird because it feels a lot like found footage like we used to just seeing the camera pointed at block A of all this tech nonsense that we see for Ghost Hunter shows. But this narrowed it down to just being iPad compatible and the fact there was a little girl doing it added a bit of a scare because there was always an entity that she's trying to track. So that worked really well. I did like those scenes. If you are scared of dolls, this Sabrina doll will freak you out. It's not even that it does anything. It's a bit like the Annabelle doll. It's kind of just an inanimate object that has something attached to it but looking at it is scary creepy and you just don't want to see it why would any child want this doll and the third thing has to go down with there is we can't go into details but it's the twists along the way in the story to what has brought the spirit to life i think it's very clever you have to watch to the very end to understand why i think this is good but it's something we're seeing now, for the free ups, we got to go to the free down. Now, the first thing that is a clear and obvious point of problem for me is the fact this movie is just called Sabrina, and unless you do some research, you don't know about the two doll movies, which, again, I still have never seen, never heard of. Um, two of the characters have come back from that. I don't really know if the connection is big between everything, and there isn't too much information being filled in. I know you can watch this as a blind sort of thing, so there isn't a last time we did this, this happened sort of speech. It's a if you find out there's more, you kind of want to see more. And, but then again, it's as I said, it's a bit of the mash of the Insidious Country because we have the one psychic who is obviously the Lin Che character who goes around and does all these stories. Then you have the creepy ass doll, and the fact that it's doing its own spin off from a big one shows that it is trying to create its own little universe over there, which is quite nice, even though this is the, the down list. Continuing on is the fact that we do a lot of promoting and really putting a lot of points towards the doll being creepy, but a lot of it is a possessed person doing a ghost face chase. Well, I'd say that by the fact that they're just running and falling over a lot. and it's a bit comical at times. A bit disappointing with that. We know what spirits can do. They just go through walls and stuff. Yeah. And the third one. Going back to that go through wall stuff. Why would you just keep locking doors from a spirit of some sort that's hunting you? Think about it. It's going to go through. Not going to lie. But somehow the ghost doesn't always go through. But sometimes it does. And its continuity is a bit all over the place on this one. But overall, if you are a horror fan, 
and you do have Netflix, this is going to be one that will get your scares on if you don't care about the nitty gritty details like I might do. I will give this one a 3 out of 5 and I'm going to leave you to watch it and see what you think. Let me know in the comments below if you agree with me and until next time I am going to go and do some more work because I seem to be getting quite lazy at doing these videos very often. Not that I hate people talking to me. I just have not seen too many new movies recently. Not gonna lie. Until next time though, we say goodbye.